Do, do you think the fact that, that drugs are illegal is what stops some youngsters from, from trying it, or even some, actually just anybody, I say the word youngsters, yeah. just anybody from, from trying it. Obviously, there'll be people who will use drugs re regardless, but for some, the fact that it's illegal yeah, might I be think enough to stop The number it, of young people harder. using and uh, um, experimenting yeah. with drugs the long, has not gone down. It's exactly the same, if not more. Mm -hmm. It's just part of growing up. And whether people go on and take drugs depends on whether they've got, you know, to a dangerous level, mm -hmm. depends on whether they've got an addictive personality. And that addictive personality could apply to anything, whether it's shopping, smoking, gambling, which is mm. another huge problem in this country with teenage boys particularly, But would you say, the, drugs. Janet, if the level stayed the same, does that mean that the current system is working? Um, the current system is flawed because it's filling our jails uh, they're full to bursting, they can't take another person. And a large number of people are in jail for petty crime mm. connected to drug, uh, funding their drug habit. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's happening, which has been widely acknowledged, is that drugs are widely available in prison. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's easier to get drugs in prison than out of prison mm. at the moment. And we've seen all that footage of drones dropping drugs into jails like Pensonville Jail in London. It's absolutely shocking. Now, I don't condone uh, people who want to take class, dro drug, uh, class A drugs mm. to, you know, dangerous levels. Mm. But I think that I dispute some of uh, what Penny said because I actually don't think that drugs... Uh, you know, soft drugs cause any more harm than alcohol. Mm. But and the fact now that it stays in your body for, for <clears throat> way, way longer. And you're talking about no, teenagers. No, they don't all stay in your body for but way, it does. way longer. It does. Marijuana does stay no, in your body. There's all different categories. It, marijuana, weed, stays in your body for two weeks. Alcohol goes out your body in yeah, 10 so to 12 why, hours. Why so why have we got a, teenager, a national health service, a Penny, learning clogged up school, with injuries and diseases caused by? Alcohol addiction. All I'm, I'm not saying, saying alcohol uh, is a great thing for children, but we're, we're all talking about here a legalizing marijuana. Yes. So and in four American states, they are legalizing. Most children having, don't talk over each other. Take turns. Well, Penny can just take over the show and put her point of view, but why don't we ask my? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No I'm, I'm only reading the facts that I've yeah, learned about. Yeah, okay. It. Well, both of you have put your. Oh, I feel like Judge Judy. Never okay. mind, <laughs> Judge Janet. You have both put your points forward very well. What, yeah. what do you think, Mike? Well, I don't know. From someone who visited jail quite often when I was younger. Mm. My dad's been in prison from when I was little. Mm. I feel like such crimes as like, I don't know, for example, using cannabis. I don't feel like people that have been using drugs that aren't class A and mm. should be in jail because I feel mm. like they could be used for a lot better people. Like, mm. more important issues really yeah. should be yeah. taken up That's spaces not a place in jails. For them. What, yeah, what, like, what, do you th what do you think then? If jail isn't necessarily the answer because, you know, like you say, they could be in jail for Yeah, I think maybe help things. or like... I don't know, healthcare wise, or going to some specialist help where you can, like counselling and other situations, not putting them in a jail to fill But the out. idea, well, like le the get... idea, getting it back to the initial point, which was do the, the concept of legalising it. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean, if you look at America, the system over there, or in some states in America, it's mm. obviously working for them, better economy and keeping some people off off the streets from... Also, the, also it raise, raises income. Mm -hmm. Because if the government was to legalise just cannabis, for example, yeah. they could control the quality of it and they could tax it and that tax would go to the revenue, uh, yeah. to the Treasury. As mm -hmm. it is at the moment, the drugs industry is the third or f second largest money earner in this country and it's all in the black economy. In other words, we're not getting any taxes off it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And actually, cannabis has been legalised, Penny, whether you like it or not, by default, mm. because the police do not prosecute people who have small amounts for personal use. Mm -hmm. The problem really, it, it, it's a grey area now. We're kind yeah. of not legalising it, but we but are. We keep right, using Janet, words like there is war. A gray, there is a big grey area. We use the words there's... war on drugs, but we yeah. already lost them. Yeah, we but it them. does show that where, where they have legalised drugs in other countries, mm. crime has gone up and addiction has gone up. 
Um, no, they hasn't. It, is well, that the case in Amsterdam? That's, that's no, it's not the case in Amsterdam. I didn't say Amsterdam, oh. but in many countries, okay. um, addiction to, uh, to drugs has gone up. And the thing is, right now, I know, like, for my children, they look at drugs and, mm. uh, and already, because it's illegal, they think, oh, it's dangerous. Mm. But if you, be, if you let it be legal, then all of a sudden, it's you're giving a message that it's safe. And that's the problem. Well, and yeah. more children will be trying drugs than ever before. But some would say that there is an argument for if you did legalise, say, a certain band of drugs, perhaps mm. leaving Class A drugs like cocaine yeah. or heroin yeah. uh, to, to one side, um, that if you did legalise it, that perhaps it would be safer. Because right now, a, a lot of... I don't want to call them lower levels, but softer drugs, I suppose, are, 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 they, are, they are mixed with incredibly dangerous substances yeah and if it was regulated then it would be purer and then actually the and it's mainly youngsters who are trying this level of drugs mm. would actually be safer what would you yeah. say to that argument i kind of agree with both of their points to an extent like i don't know what the solution is really but you can see how it's worked in other places with certain drugs i completely agree class a should be shouldn't be legal it's it's mm. insane really but yeah. in other cases like with having i don't know i mean you can see how it's worked and i feel like now that it's in america it potentially could be moving over to England. And let's and not just forget about... the use of cannabis for medical reasons well. Well, yeah, it has well, to it's, it's really absolutely. transformed people's lives, yeah. people with arthritis and long... That uh, pain. Epilepsy. Epilepsy, exactly. But that's so, very no, separate no. to introducing it to the to general public, particularly for yes, children. Yes, but, you know, you're talking about cannabis being in the system for two weeks, but if you've got mm. arthritic pain, you want to be able to get yeah. hold of it regularly without breaking yeah, through, the law. through a doctor, but not on the high street.